So this has nothing to do with anything, but I'm going to open it anyway. I know what it is. I just picked up the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser. I've been enjoying the eye cream for a while now, you guys know. And I've just started using the moisturizer, so I thought I'd give this a try. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. So I think this feeling prickly mug with all the cactuses all over it is a mug I actually picked up for my daughter Sunday. She's always getting mugs for me. I found one for her. Uh, but the thing is, for my son, if it's a coffee mug, it's mine. So it ended up in my pile. My pile. And... um. I just need a quick coffee mug today. So we are sharing my daughter's coffee mug, feeling prickly. And in this coffee mug is the Ahmed Tea Peppermint and Lemon. I do like this one. Um, the ingredients are not on here. But it says, take comfort in the delightful, soothing qualities of mint, enhanced with the subtle aroma of lemon. A delicious, naturally caffeine-free beverage that is perfect after a meal. Actually, it's pretty, as I recall, it's pretty good anytime. It's a really nice tea. So we're gonna give it a sip and get started. I'm already running much later than I planned. So um, yeah, sip. I do love the smell of this one. Uh, she is pretty hot. <laughs> I think I almost burned up my tongue there a little bit. Uh, but I'm already getting the hints of lemon and mint. And hopefully this will have a little bit of time to go ahead and steep up for us to the end. So today is a bonus video, and it is an unexpected bonus video. I have been um, a member of Influencer for four or five years now, I think. And it took nearly two years to get a box. <laughs> And uh, the box was a Mother's Day box, and it wasn't all that to me. And all the fighting and all the stuff, I mean, I, I understand they have a limited quantity of these boxes. As I was saying, uh, I got a Mother's Day box from them, and um, by that time I was pretty frustrated with it. It really seemed to me that um, there was a lot of ageism going on. I kept trying to apply for makeup boxes. I never got any makeup. <laughs> I still haven't got any makeup. Anyway, I did all the things but one thing in that uh, particular campaign. I hoped that that would prompt some more boxes. It hasn't. I pretty much lost most of it. I don't need a curly cue up top of my head. Yes, I'm highly distracted because I'm late. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, I just got really frustrated with the app. I, it just really felt like it, because of my age, and stuff that uh, they were pretty much discounting me out of any of the stuff that I was interested in uh, because they do things on, um, what do they call them? I can't remember now. And yes, I'm still fighting that. At any rate, so it seemed to me that it was just not m worth worth my time. Um, I'm older. I'm not in the uh, group of people in terms of age that they were looking for. Um, socioeconomics or socio status or something like that. I can't remember what it is. At any rate, so, but I still kept applying for the boxes when I got things of, hey, you might be a good fit. I would go and, and, and fill things out. Still no makeup. <laughs> However, I did get a box. I got a box. I was like, what? Uh, the interesting thing is, is I got the email saying that I qualified for this campaign the day I got the box. <laughs> it was just like, Oh, okay. Uh, this is the Kristen S. Hair. I've actually looked it up online and, and the stuff inside, it's not hair care products. Uh, but uh, the stuff is fairly reasonable price, as I recall. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box, if I can. I'm fighting all the things today. We are so far behind. My husband is, is waiting for me to get done here. Oh, that is much bigger than I thought it would be. Anyway, so they included a little card. Um, Kristen S. Hair began with a simple idea, create an affordable collection of luxury hair care and styling products that would give everyone the chance to create modern, perfectly 
imperfect hair. Accessories are a quick and easy way to instantly upgrade any style, whether you're heading to a party, attending a wedding, or honestly, any occasion. Chicness is key. Uh, vis visit kristinshair.com for more information and receive a 10% off your first order when you sign up for our newsletter. So, and then it talks about how to do the influencer thing. So, that's nice. And, oh wow, there's only one thing in this box. <laughs> I thought there would be three or four. Okay, so the one thing in this box... <laughs> They show three or four in the actual photo here. You see the photo? That's the photo I received too. Anyway, so I thought there would be three or four different items. But what I got was the pretty bow. It looks like it has a little clip on the back. The bow slide. This is the mini version of the bow slide and the perfect option for finer and or thinner hair. They don't got me right. <laughs> At the minimum, I have medium hair. Uh, secure this onto your hair elastic for sophisticated addition to your ponytail. All right. Um, I'm going to pull this. Pull this up. i got to take the tape off. It's an interesting option. Ugh, come here. Are we all off? We are all. We've got some sticky on there because it's been on there. I'm trying to see if it's it's somehow connected over here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's not. I'm just gonna tear this, just to get through it because um, I'm having some issues with it because I can't open things. We all know that, right? So I'm trying to see it there. Finally came off. So it's got this thin little clip. I don't see how this is going to work for my hair, but we're going to give it a shot, folks. I'm going to put it on the side. We will try to do a side. Do I have ponytail holders in here? I thought I had some of my, um, I don't know what they're called anymore. Anyway, uh, we are having a day. Uh, so I'm going to take my hair up. Oh, maybe we are having issues. I guess I'll put it on top. It's not like. It's not like the back of my head couldn't use help because the hair in the back is um, is straighter than the rest of my hair. All of my hair in the back is straighter than the rest of my hair. It's terrible. This is going to be sloppy. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, Yuriko. Yuriko is playing with the paper. Anyway. So I'm just going to loop this around once. I got a little ponytail thing up there. Boof! I <laughs> got a little ponytail thing. And then I'm going to try to wrap that around there. Should be off to the side, but I'll turn around for you guys. This will be interesting. Assuming I can get this thing on here. There it is. I had to find it. And now, of course, I can't put things on. I was going to use my little elastic, my corkscrew little elastic things. Okay, she's on there. She's on there. She is crooked. She is off center, but she is on there. <laughs> this is going to be so silly, folks. I'm turning around. <laughs> I'm turning around. Slowly. Ugh. All right, you can guys see it on the side. No, you can't. It's way up high. Cause that's where I put my ponytails and shit. But anyway, here we go. Here we go. So there it is in my hair. I hope you can see it. I don't know. I think it's cute. I'll have to look when I see the actual image. But I also think it's problematic because this is, I mean, seriously, they have my, um, they have my profile. So they know I do not have fine hair. I do not have thin hair. Why I got selected for this one, I don't know. Because I do not have the kind of hair that needs to have this. Let's uh, see if we can do something a little bit more. Again, I'm just going to use this one. And just loop it once. Because my hair is being... 
not happy with what I'm doing with it. So we've got it off to the side here. It's a little easier once you know what you're doing. Hello. <laughs> Welcome home. And there she is on the side. I don't know how cute that is or not. But there it is on the side. Maybe I can bring her forward a bit. Honestly, uh, I feel like I'm 12 years old. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like I'm 12 years old. It's cute that, um, I'm not sure if it's me. <laughs> I'm not sure if a bow, bow is is suitable for me. I will make the attempt to do all the things for the uh, campaign. I am trying to convince them that I'm um, I'm worth more attention than what they give. I mean, I used to do all the reviews and things, but I don't now. At any rate, so this was just a real quickie for this bow. Forget about dressing up my hair. I can dress up my clothes. What do you think? What do you think? Ugh. Can you see that? That's kind of cute. It's actually almost the same color as the shirt. Almost. It's a little more ruby. The shirt is a little more brick. At any rate, <laughs> I got a use for it at least. And I don't feel 12 with it right there. It's a little odd. But... Anyway, like I was saying, let me know what you think down below. I am trying to get, I have been trying to to apply for these boxes, but I never get anything like what I want. I'm sure the makeup boxes are like completely overwhelmed with people um, submitting for them. So I guess that's no surprise. But uh, I do feel like that influencer, now my hair's a mess. Um, I do feel like influencer uh, kind of ignores me. Um, and I used to post the pictures and do all the things. I used to review all the products over there. And it was pretty much, it felt like to me, like almost a full-time job over there. And then for me, I wasn't getting any attention at all. And when I did get attention, it wasn't for anything that I was actually reviewing. I mean, I review primarily hair care and makeup and I wasn't getting any of that stuff. They were sending me, they sent me for boxes for other stuff that I'm not interested in. So... I'm going to go ahead and try to finish out everything I need to do with this, you know, take pictures, whatever. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Honestly, I think Influencer could have done better with matching me with something that would be more suitable to my uh, profile, you know. At least make it for thicker hair because my hair is not thin. Um, it's been thinning, but it's not thin. And it's, uh, you know, kind of full and curly and I don't put it up much. That's just all there is to it. At any rate, that is it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't yet. If you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week, Monday and Thursday. However, I do upload bonus videos like this one, including my son's Geek Fuel every month. We have one that I'm supposed to film today and try to get up <laughs> tomorrow. I hope. It's been a day. If you send anything, that would also be a bonus video. And uh, we do a few other things, too. Uh, uh, garden videos are going to come up in the summer. Hoping to get back into indie brands. We'll see how all that goes. Uh, if you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. If you choose not to subscribe, well, this was a little bit of a, a, little bit of a mess. I, I got, got dressed up. I feel like for almost nothing. I mean, you know, they have quite a few things in here. I just just sent the bow. I mean, that's fine. It was free. Guess I can't complain too much. It, it just feels you could have done a little bit more if you really want me to. If you really want me to say something about Kristen S. Hair, sending one bow isn't enough for me to really de decide much about Kristen S. Hair, is it now? <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna move on and tell you if you choose not to subscribe, I will understand. I do hope that, however, you will come back again. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea, prickly or not. I think this ended up being a perfect cup for today. All right, so 
yeah, it's been, you know, 15 minutes or so. Uh, hopefully this is all nice and full. I did put in two tea bags, so we should have a nice full flavor. It is still very hot, which I appreciate. Going to take that sip right now, and then we will be on our way. Yeah, I like this tea. It's kind of funny, though, because on the back of this, it says enhanced with a subtle aroma of lemon. I'm getting more lemon than mint. The mint, I mean, it's there. I'm not saying it's not there, and I'm not saying it's really faint, but it's one of those where you don't so much taste it as you feel it, if that makes sense. It's very nice and very refreshing, but I think the lemon is a bit stronger, so the subtle hint of lemon seems like a slight misdescription of the whole thing. At any rate, it's a good one. You can. I found this in my Kroger. Hopefully you can find it in yours. It's one I will repurchase. And that is it. I hope you have a good one.